Hey Kim, Samantha tells me you're interested in opening and using an E-Trade account, probably for Sean, I guess. So I'm going to show you real quick how to set up an E-Trade account and then to quickly buy and sell stock, how to put money in and that kind of thing. So we're going to start by typing in E-Trade here and it will bring up the uh, us.etrade.com uh, website or link and you click on the link and it will show you this front page up here it says open an account just simply click on that uh, you're going to want a brokerage account i mean if you want you can put a bank account in here too it works just like a bank account at bank of america you can set up checking or savings but in this case you're going to want a brokerage account and then you have a choice of brokerage accounts there's an individual account a joint account or a custodial account i would suggest a custodial account if you want him to access the site uh, and and buy and do his own selling and trading the only thing i don't know is whether or not he has to have your approval uh, once he makes those decisions so but in this case we'll just select custodial and you can see what happens is no different than any other form fill that you've got here it'll ask you if you're an existing customer if you're not it'll go through filling out the forms it will ask you for things like social security numbers probably under the custodial it will ask for both yours and his at some point in the setup process it will ask you to tie this to an account of some time we've tied our account to our or this account to our checking account so that we can use our checking account to transfer money from here into the e-trade brokerage account seamlessly and it works very very well the thing to know about that is if you transfer money from the bank to E-Trade, it can take up to seven days for it to appear in the E-Trade account. It doesn't appear to be, at least I've never seen it be, a very fast process. So you, when you, when you sit down for the first time, you're probably not going to be able to buy and sell stock immediately. Okay, But at least you'll um, be able to fund it so, and so that when the money shows up, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But anyway, that's basically how you set up an e-trade e account now we're going to i'm going to go into our e-trade account so you can see get an idea of what that looks like i think i've got a couple thousand dollars in here right now not a lot i buy and sell a lot and i and i put a lot of money in or i take a lot of money out so i move money around kind of just because it's sometimes i need it for other things or i don't want to use it here but anyway i'm going to log in i'm going to log into what they, they what you would see when you log in for the first time is the account tab this is what this is what the account tab will look like okay um, and you can see here I've got two thousand ninety three dollars in here today I've made thirty one dollars and sixty three cents well this changes all the time if it if I've made money it goes up and it's green if I lost money it shows a negative and go and turns red and you can see down here that's what some of this looks like I don't want to show you this view I'm going to show you another view that I've created under view full portfolio this will give you kind of a better idea of what you're actually looking at. You can customize this to anything you want. There's like 50 or 60 fields in here. If you don't want to look at it this way, if there's another way you want to look at it, you can move columns around, you can add stuff. But I'm looking at this from the perspective of what I think is important. Okay, and it's up to you or Sean to figure out what you want to see. But I'll show you here, these are the stocks and the symbols that those stocks represent. TLMD, for example, that's Telemed. Uh, none of these on here will be anything that you recognize because they're all pretty relatively inexpensive stocks. But what I'll show you here, I'll just go right across the line here. So in this case, Telemed, I own 90 shares of stock at $7.39. The last price that was paid for it at the stock market was $7.22. The range of the stock has gone anywhere from $6.82 up to $12.08. So the stock isn't expected, at least I don't expect the stock to go any higher than about $12. It happens that sometimes something happens to the stock. They buy a company or they've made a big, they've made a big sale. And all of a sudden this number goes up to $40 a share. Well, that doesn't happen very often, but it can. And so what I do is I buy the cheaper stocks with the hope, I suppose, that, you know, a one dollar stock and 200 shares at 200 dollars you know if it sells for ten dollars i've made eight hundred dollars because it's because uh, it's at ten dollars a share at 200 shares that's two thousand dollars no i've made eighteen hundred dollars so that's why i like to play the small the small dollar stocks you can buy them up to i think amazon's going for i don't know eighteen hundred dollars tesla's going for like six hundred dollars a share i think it just doesn't make sense to do that 
anyway, going across uh, the 22 cents, that's what has been made per share on the stock today. That doesn't mean I've made any money. It's still, it's still under two, so it's still under what I paid for it. This is the last price, but this means it's up from the price that it was. So it might have been down around seven dollars and eighteen cents. So I made a little money on this stock. The day's gains about twenty bucks. I've got six hundred and fifty dollars about in terms of stock. It's ninety shares times seven dollars and twenty-two cents. So that the value of that is six dollars and forty six hundred and forty-nine dollars. And if you want to see this change, if you go up here and hit the refresh button, watch the numbers change when I do that. See, now I've made more money here. I made $4 more. So it's gone up to $653. So this is kind of how I watch it. You can see over the course of the day, I made $41. Um, but that's kind of that's kind of what you're looking at as, the, as a dashboard. Okay, and so I, we right now have seven stocks, varying prices. I got 200 shares of stock at $1.88. I've made $0.98 cents for the day on this one stock. So they don't, some of these little penny stocks, they don't go, and they're called penny stocks. They don't really bounce around very much. There's not a lot of value in those. And you can see here I've lost some money too. I bought this at $1.88 for eyes. It's actually, you have to go into each of these to know more. We'll do that in a second. That's kind of the lay of the land of that. So what, is, what does the stock actually look like? Well, if you click on one, let's look at this one here, Telemed. So this is Telemed. Telemed is, uh, you can learn more about the company by scrolling all the way to the bottom. It will tell you, not all the way to the bottom, but where it says company overview. This will give you an idea of what the company is or does, okay? Uh, it gives you the headquarters. It tells you all the things that they do. In this case, this is a provider of telemedicine technology. This is like, it's like if you're calling your doctor on your computer. This is kind of what this company does, okay? In terms of the value, in terms of whether or not you should invest in this company, there are over here on the, on the right hand side, there's analyst research. And this can have sometimes one analyst. You can have a whole bunch of analysts listed here. In this case, you can see it says strong buy. The analysts are recommending that you buy it. So I look, I tend to look at head, headlines, things that look positive, like a telemed hires top executive roles. I don't know that that's particularly positive. It doesn't talk about whether or not they made any money or they bought anything or did anything. But that's kind of how I keep an eye on the stock. Okay. The other thing I look at here is I look at the chart. What's happened in the last day? What's happened in the last five days? What's happened in the last three months? You can see in the case of Telemed, it's kind of taken a dive from $10 down to $7. But if you look at the one year, I mean, if you look at the statistics, you go over time. What this means here is that uh, the stock didn't start being traded on the market until sometime in 2020, okay? And you can see that usually when the stock starts, it starts high and then dives down low. Well, what's happening now is that telemed is becoming more important to the industry, and that's why you can start to see something of an uptick. My suspicion is, in this case, the stock will go up. Well, and then time will time will tell. We'll see if it actually rises above it. But this is an example of a of a relatively cheap stock with, and there's not a lot of risk on the front end. If you buy a hundred shares at seven dollars, that's seven hundred dollars you got in the market. You buy ten shares, you can buy ten shares at seventy dollars. And then you just buy it and sell it and see what happens. So let's go back. Now I go up to accounts and portfolios. That's what we'll look at. That's where my stocks are. Uh, and I did want to show you how to get to that first. I should have done that first, I guess. Anyway, you can see now it's down to $35. And if you keep refreshing this and if it'll drive you crazy, it'll go up a few cents. It'll go down a few dollars. So I don't tend to, <laughs> I don't tend to refresh very often. I'll watch it a few times during the day something interesting happens like this telemed thing that's actually kind of interesting it's going up a little bit i'm not going to sell it because it's still under what i paid for it if this hits eight nine dollars i might consider selling it on the other hand if i sell it at nine dollars and it skyrockets to 25 dollars i lose out and so that's kind of you know that's always the risk of this of, of playing the market okay so how do i buy and sell a stock well let's say that i'm don't want to i don't want to lose any more money on this stock let's say i want to sell it well there's a little drop down here, it says buy and sell. I can either buy more stock or I can sell it. So in this case, if I sell it, it pops up this window. Okay, so if I want to sell it, this is a stock name. Verb happens to be Verb Technology. You can look it up if you want. I want to sell, I can sell any increment from all the shares I have, which in this case is 100, down to 1. I pick the number I want to sell. Price type. Well, how do I want to sell it? Do I want to sell it at market? 
Market means it will sell immediately. Do I want to sell it when the market closes? That means it'll sell at the end of the day. Do I want to limit the sell? What this means is, yeah, I want to sell it, but I'm not going to sell it until it hits, say, $3 a share. Well, the last price was $1.96, 90, almost 97. So let's say, okay, I'll, let's say I won't sell it until it hits $5, okay? So now it's, it's telling it, okay, I'll sell it, but only when it hits $5. Well, how long is this going to last? Is it going to last just for the day? Is it going to last for 60 days? Or I can select when I want this option, this, this limit price to end, okay? When I hit preview order, it will say, does this everything look right? If, you, if it does and you hit place order, you're done. It will place the order. If it's a limit, it will sit there and wait for it to hit $5. If it doesn't hit $5, it won't sell it. If you sell it at market, it'll sell it immediately. Okay, so that's kind of how you sell stock. How are you going to, okay, if you want to buy stock, let's go back up here to accounts and down to portfolios. Let's say that uh, we're looking here now at TLMD. It's like, look, this stock is starting to move, right? It's at 729. It's getting, it's, I think, is it going to go up? I wonder. Hmm, okay. I'm going to add some more shares to that so I can buy shares. So I can go ahead and hit the buy button, do the same thing. It's basically reverse the selling stock. It's identical market. Buy it. Do I want to buy it at the end of the day? Do I want to buy it when it hits a certain price? So it gives you a lot of options in terms of how that works. Okay. So how do you find a stock? What do you, let's say you want to, let's say you want to see what Apple's doing. Okay. Well, you go up here to this search box and you type AAPL. I think you might even be able to type Apple. Let's see. Yep. So you can type in Apple too, and it will find the stock for you. Okay. When you click on this, it'll give you the information, the same kind of information that you saw on the others. Okay. And from this window, you can also buy and sell if you want. But I wanted to show you, you saw that the analyst research on the first stock I showed you, there was only this one thing. Well, you can see over here, there's Morgan Stanley, there's Thomas Reuters, there's Argus, there's Smart Con Consensus. Every single one of these in the case of Apple says buy, buy, hold it long. Hold it long means you're going to hold it for a long period of time. Uh, so all the research analysts say Apple's the one to buy. Well, the problem with Apple is it's $130 a share. Sure, it might go up, but if I've only got $1,000, I can only buy nine, maybe eight shares of stock in this. I'd, in my opinion, I'd rather put money into $2 stocks. I can buy 100 shares of $2 stock at $200. I can only buy one share of Apple. So that's kind of why I don't buy the expensive stocks. I tend to stay around the $10 mark. I've gone up as high. I bought Apple stock and and then sold it because I don't like having that much money in a, in a few shares of stock. So anyway, okay. In terms of putting money into the account, just go up to accounts. Let's just go up to account up here. Okay, and you go down to transfers, transfer money, you go down to transfer money. Now, you since you've already set up the account and it's tied to your bank account, it will say transfer from my bank account, okay, and put it into my brokerage account, and it will have your name here, okay. And you're going to say, I want to put in $1,000. Okay, you type that in, you type when you want it to go, you type how often you want it to go, and then you hit preview transfer, okay. And this will show you what you can do. Now, down here... This is what I told you earlier. If you put money in now, it doesn't mean it's going to be available now. See, available for investment, I'm, not, I'm going to have but $1,000. The reason it doesn't say $1,000 is because I've had money invested before. I can right now invest $101 of that $1,000 I was going to put in, but it's going to wait until January 20th for me to have access to the rest of that money. So when you when you put in when you put in the request, just know that it's not going to happen right away. Okay. Anyway, that's kind of how you buy and sell stock. On uh, E-Trade, I just wanted to point that out so you had something to, uh, you had a, a place to start. I don't know if this will help. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me afterward. Uh, just ask Sam or just send me a text. Okay, bye.